Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Makeover at Macy's. I'm Elise Sayetta, Macy's Beauty Director, and I'm here with my fabulous beauty colleague, Brenda. Hi everyone, I'm Brenda, Head of Education here at Macy's Beauty. And today we're gonna be talking about how badly we wanna go out on mm -hmm. a date night because it's February and it is the middle of winter, we have dry skin, we are not fabulous right now, but we will show you how to get fabulous in um, a few easy steps. So we'll talk about uh, getting a really pretty cat eye, a beautiful red lip, and then we'll also talk about how you can top it off with some fragrance. The first thing that we're gonna talk about is the cat eye, which is an absolute classic. It's super flattering on everybody, mm -hmm. and it's a lot easier than you might think it is. So how would you like, just apply this on, on the go. Say we like don't have that much time to get ready. I have super straight lashes, so I actually like to do the liner before I get to the mascara. Absolutely. Um, I love a good pointy tip. So with this, I can make sure I'm getting a thin line, mm -hmm. or if I go it at the side, I can get a thicker line as well. Uh, a great tip, I would say, I've seen so many people do this, is pull at their eye, but there's so many bad things about this. First is wrinkles. It'll come sooner <laughs> rather than later. And then the second one is when you release your eye, the line that was thin in the beginning, it actually becomes a lot thicker. Mm. I also like sometimes like to start from the outer corner in mm -hmm. so that I already ensure that I have like that nice like fine tip at the end. Also too, if I want to go like really in on like mm -hmm. booming up my lashes, I'll actually line like the um, top water line of my of my lash too and tight line it. The whole point of a cat eye is to open up your eyes and especially for a date night, you want to make sure your eyes are as big as possible right. and romantic, yeah. right? So um, the cat eye is really going to open up your eyes, but then also mascara is super important. Mm -hmm. So Sills Booster from Lancome, it's like holy grail, best-selling product. The OG eyelash oh, primer. Absolutely. <laughs> it's white, but it actually goes on uh, clear and transparent. I even love this at night to condition the lashes because there's so many amazing amazing ingredients That's in here. Point. And then I love my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Got that uh, gorgeous curvy girl wand. Love it, right? I have it on right now. Oh, there you go, fluttery <laughs> lashes. So then um, I'll coat. And I love that um, you can get more of a precise coating because of the shape of the wand. So if I need to go on the bottom or if I want to just wing out the ends of my lashes, mm -hmm. it's the perfect wand. So this is the reality. Every day on the train, I'll take out my compact. We are women on the go. Yes, I've perfected um, the cat eye when the train is vibrating. Right? <laughs> so remember, tilt up. I love to bring the mirror like this. And then you want to follow the bottom line to get like that perfect line. So it dep I start off slow. You don't have to do one full swipe. So I like to go um, do the end first. Sometimes, for my natural look, I like to just do the ends. I like that right. too, that like, cute little flick. Right? Mm -hmm. It's just natural, but then date night, you want to sexy it up, right? Yes. So then yes, I, do. I do the whole thing. And then you just connect the dots. It's kind of like um, connect the dots for adults. <laughs> and then you'll do the waterline, like you were saying, to make sure all of the in between the lashes are covered up and then there's your cat eye. When you mess up, you can take a little bit of shadow and smudge it out. Oh yeah. And it'll and be you have a whole other look. Yeah. <laughs> and then to make sure your line is right, you want to look at it from far away and then you flutter at your date. The next element to this look mm -hmm. is the perfect red lip. I mean you can't get any more classic than a cat eye and a perfect red lip. Um, but, of course, there are tips and tricks behind making sure that your red lip is perfect. Yes. <laughs> I love any lipstick that's not in the traditional bullet form because Ooh, you can use this so as a structural. lip liner. Oh, yeah. Wow. So you apply the lipstick and red, I feel like, has to be very precise, otherwise it doesn't look good, totally. right? Totally. So you can actually use it as a lip liner afterwards. I love all of the YSL Slim Shears because it really fits to uh, the contours of your lips. I feel like these bullets are also so, so insta-friendly. Yeah. <laughs> They're just beautiful. Maybe that's why I like it. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> but if you want to uh, choose your perfect red, start off thinking about what kind of jewelry you wear, right? Do you wear a lot of silvers? Do you wear a lot of golds? If you wear silvers, you probably will go with the blue undertones mm -hmm, or like the cooler red. Cooler red. Yeah, totally. Um, and if you wear a lot of gold, you'll probably go with the warmer reds or the brick reds. One other thing too that we want to make sure like before even applying anything mm -hmm. on your lips, um, when you're going to be sporting a 
red lip is you want to make sure that your lips are nice and scrubbed and also like nicely moisturized. Yes. So, I mean, I love this Clinique Moisture Surge. I wear this every day. It's in my bag. It's like nice, cute, and compact. But I do like to put this on during my skincare routine, even like when I know that I'll be putting on a red lip, just to make sure that like the canvas is, <laughs> is nice yeah. and smooth. We also have MAC Ruby Woo, which if you don't know about Ruby Woo, it Holy is Grail. Holy Grail. If you have never used red lipstick before, this should be your first go-to. Just try it. It's wonderful. It works with almost every skin tone. The next color that we're gonna look at is the one that I have on right now, mm -hmm. which is Giorgio Armani Lip Maestro. And this is shade 400, which they call V Red. And I see why, because yeah. it's just like bright. As soon as they put it on my face, I was like, oh my god. She was like, this is I'm like, red. <laughs> exactly, this me. is what I love. Yeah. Um, and what I love about it is that it's a little more like fiery and orangey, which is kind of the reds that I go toward, mm -hmm. because that's just who I am, I guess. Yeah. Um, but love this. And I actually love, um, I love a good liquid lipstick. I love that um, the formula is a lot more cushiony and like mm -hmm. a gloss when you put it yeah. on. And then you, because of the tip, you can actually get a more of a precise application. And then, as it dries down, it goes into more of a matte finish. And then, we also have um, this YSL. This is more a, of a sheer red, which is great. And this is good, good too, because it, it kind of feels like a balm. Mm -hmm. It's very moisturizing. It's very shiny. But also, too, if you kind of want to do that, like, bitten, blurred lip, yeah. too, this is, like, perfect for that. We are going to try the red lip on you. OK. Let's do it. I'm ready. So I love doing um, the Prep and Prime from MAC. Again, holy grail. And then go in. You can see it's a little uneven on the bottom. You can go back and line it here with uh, the lipstick, or I love using the MAC Prep and Prime to clean it up. You can use it as a reverse lip liner. And it looks like I never even messed up. There we go. We wouldn't be the fragrance destination if we didn't at least talk about fragrance once during mm -hmm. this during this bit. <laughs> um, but of course, we have three of the very best scents, and you know February is the month of love, so they're really pretty pink juices. We have Coach Dreams. We also have Ralph Lauren Romance, and then also Versace Bright Crystal. And Coach Dreams is brand new. I know. I can't wait to smell it. Actually, so good. I mean, the bottle is amazing. It's so pretty. It's a flower right on top. Perfect, and it's perfect for its top notes, which are floral. Mm -hmm. So, ooh, it does smell. So, very Coast nice. Dreams and Ralph Lauren Romance are both floral, and then Versace Bright Crystal is more of a fresh uh, fragrance. On the date night, you want to make sure you are unforgettable. So, Absolutely. a scent is how what triggers the memory. So, if you use like an unscented uh, body lotion, or even if you. Um, use the same scent family lotion and apply it first and you spray a little bit on top it'll last a lot longer oh yeah it's kind of like a primer yeah, yeah absolutely i mean we're talking about primers and makeup so much <laughs> it's the primer for your fragrances exactly. as well uh the best places to apply it do you know um under the ear yeah uh-huh everywhere that you feel a pulse so these are called ah. your pulse points so behind the ear on your neck right your wrist actually behind your knees. I hear that gardenia and cactus flower are the main floral mm -hmm. notes in here, which is really pretty. Ralph Lauren Romance. It should be a staple in everyone's fragrance wardrobe. Totally. It smells so beautiful. It's literally like a bouquet of flowers, and that's mm -hmm. basically what's inside this bottle, because there are four <laughs> there are four main flower notes in here. There's rose, jasmine, geranium, and Marigold. But it's not overpowering, even no, though it has not. all of those very floral delicate. fragrances. It's on really it. chic. I mean, look at this bottle. Super chic. So beautiful. Amazing. This is what I want my 10 year anniversary diamond <laughs> to look like. Versace Bright Crystal is more uh, fresh. It has water, lotus flower, and yuzu. So oh, it has cool. like that citrus burst along with some other uh, floral notes. Issey Miyake said the sexiest scent on a woman is uh, raindrops on her Ooh. skin. Just spray it on onto your wrist, and then you want to make sure you dab and don't uh, break up the notes too much. And you're ready for date night. Oh, this is nice and fresh. Mm -hmm. So one thing that we're famous for at Macy's, of course, being the fragrance destination, mm -hmm. is teaching everybody how to actually wardrobe your fragrance. And so a lot of people don't really know what that means, but what it does mean is that you pretty much can like assign certain scents to certain events that you're yeah. attending or going to. So since we're talking about all different date nights, 
What's great is each one of these fragrances actually represents different kind of dates that you can go on. Take me there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, then I'm gonna take you to the club because if I was going to a really fun, like high energy, like- You go on, wait, you go, you go to clubs on dates? This one thinks that married people don't have any fun. Yes, I would definitely wear like more of a fresh fragrance. Mm -hmm. Like uh, if I was going out to do like a really fun, like high energy date, um, I would pair Ralph Lauren Romance with kind of a more like awesome like dinner, mm -hmm. like more intimate like type of setting for a date. This is like that little black dress that you exactly. bring out on that perfect occasion. Yeah. Oh, and then this one, super classic. I feel like this is a great one if you're having that daytime date. Totally. All right, you're going, you're taking a walk to the park. Yeah, going on a picnic or something really fun. Like I that. love going to the zoo on a date. So that's it, you guys. Thank you so much for exploring ways to get out of that winter yeah. <laughs> winter zone on a fabulous date night. We talked about all different kinds of dates, what to wear, some really classic beauty looks that can help you get on your way. Mm -hmm. and, um, and yeah, that's it. So thank you so much for joining us and make sure you tune into the next episode of Makeover at Macy's. Bye. Bye. <laughs>